All right, let, let's screw the intro and let's get this sausage made. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm hiding my desktop right now so that I can hide all of the horrible things that you are not allowed to see. But it will be brought back quite soon. And thank God the mic worked. <laughs> it only took completely uninstalling and reinstalling all of my drivers. That was not at all terrifying and annoying. Oh, and then there's that. But hey, it'll be good. How are you doing? How's everybody? Oh, thank God. Thank God it's working. I was very, very worried. I was like, wait a second. Is my microphone suddenly dead for all of time? The answer to that question was maybe. But uh, no, the true answer to the question was no, we're back. I just need to wait for it to load up the campaign and then go back into the mission that I had so painstakingly set up for you guys. We're going to have fun with it, don't worry. It is a bit loud, isn't it, though? Needs to come down. There we go. Hello, Emir. Let's see. Amiraculous. Amiraculous. A miraculous? We can go with that one as well. Yeah, Carl. What's taking you so long to load my campaign file? There is only so much of it. Yeah, taskbar settings. Hide the bottom. Uh, I don't know. The, the campaign may have died because it's everything's going slowly, like impossibly slowly. Oh, that's, that's where my mic is. Okay. Red hype train? Yeah, I know. I was I was so frustrated staring at this hype train kick off and then I couldn't do anything. Oh, there goes the music again. Electronica. There we go. Oh, that took a moment. Must have, yeah. Oh. So, so irritating. Not that, you know, the hype train was amazing. I mean, you guys were awesome, but here I was, like, fiddling, trying to get the sound working, and it was not working. But hey, we are now working. Yes, I'm here. I am here. And we're gonna get things started. So, uh, yeah. About that last mission. So I had everything set up, and so now we're gonna just sort of set things up again. And I'm gonna load a sickle, saved local game. And hopefully this will all work out. That's where Paul the Borg is leading the stream. <laughs> Oh, uh, I suppose. All right, let's see here. We need today's most recent. Teddy is the. Oh God, where would it have saved? Now I need to actually like figure that out, don't I? Because I have this somewhere. Go up there. Inside there, and then it's save games, stream, and that should work. Uh, so what's on the card for the company today? So today we're going to be having a probe that Diamondback is going to attempt to work. And if this works, this is Diamondback's probe that'll hopefully everything work out okay. Up, oh, disconnected. You've been disconnected from the server. Damn it. All right, I'm going to start again. I'm going to load from that and maybe that'll work. Otherwise, we're going to have to rebuild the entire company. Uh, yeah. Did it for the first time too? It's cleared up for you now. Awesome. And we have options and everything now, so that's actually working out. Although, you know, Twitch being a bit of a jerk and not giving us the ability to do the cool things. Okay. Oh, no, it's hiding it from me. Gosh, darn it all. I may have to do this the hard way. All right, so. Load saved game. That's what I want. Stream. Saved game. Please stay connected. No, but but everything's set up. God damn it. Today's gonna be one of them days. Right. I can set up the up for really quick. We did this last time we were doing explaining. Today is going to be very much a jank stream. I can feel it in my blood. It's just all going to be terrible. <laughs> Hello, cool cards. Oh, all of this op for is totally worthless to me. I can't use any of it because of the, the way we're currently using things. Gosh, it's going so slowly. All right, so everything from the Wolverine to the Bulldog is gone, but at least I know what I want to replace it with. All right, so out of combat unit, we wish to have... Uh, yes, I do need two aerospace fighters. They're Cheetahs. They're Cheetah F-10s because they have the lasers and all of the lasers. So we're going to grab two of them for the reinforcements. Select, select. Then we're going to quickly switch on over from this to Infantry. Because other people are going to make it the vast majority of what's going on here. 
We'll take a peek at what I'm doing in a moment. Put platoon. Let's see. And this is the primary force. So ruffle, ruffle, SRM, machine gun setting, or machine gun section that is, tank, and I wish to have partisans, standard, select, select, and then Hetzers. And we want the AC-10 version to give them a little bit more range. Oh, what am I missing? Two Hetzers, two Hetzers. Yeah, I changed it because the, the force that I had created was not a fair and just force for a probe. It was basically a full-on conflict with heavy mechs and that just was not going to be a good idea. Uh, I guess he's not really happy about losing a landsman. Yeah. Remember to load the ordnance on the planes? Yep, will do. But first got to get through everything else. And then for the reinforcements, the actual full-on mech boys... We were going to switch over to proper mechs, and I had a Thunderbolt. And I forget which variant of the Thunderbolt that I had set up. I think it might have been just the, the, the stock Thunderbolt 5S. So we will add that as part of you. Oh no, you are the reinforcement. So him, plus his little buddy, who was a Vulcan. 5T, uh, machine gun, flamer, medium, that's not the right version. That's the right version. And then a pair of stingers. I know it was wasps. They're almost interchangeable. Looks like clothes. I'm missing something. Oh yeah, I moved the fighters into the other group. I still think I'm missing something. Cheetahs, configure all. Oh, no, I gotta do them individually. Configure, equipment, and they're equipped with rocket pods times two. And configure, rocket pods times two. Okay, do I have everybody? I have the four infantry, their tanks, and their tank support. Plus the mech, 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 mech. I'm short something, and I don't know. Don't know. Uh, miraculous. Uh, I'd love to see a new Mega Mech tutorial stream on setting up a new Merc company and getting the first contracted mission. Uh, sure, we could do that at some point. Maybe into the end of the stream. AC2s and machine guns, that's an interesting build. What, the, the Vulcan? Yeah, the, the Vulcan is actually designed as an anti-infantry mech. So it's the machine gun of the Flamers. Uh, the AC2 is there for anti-mech firepower. Go to toe to toe with a lot of stuff in the hatchet honk, but that many ACs on the field at once was a bit intimidating. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be fun. Hopefully we'll actually manage to survive. Uh, we also need to make sure that we set this up. So you guys, because you're your Thunderbolt, configure all. You guys are showing up at round 6 because of the Thunderbolt speed. The Cheetahs are going to show up on round 4. Because they're going to be all in the field and dealing damage. Also need to remember the Duchy of Endurian. And they need their proper colors. And this is the way we do things. With maximum jank. And you can be 7th guard. Sure, why not? That way you get yellow tanks that look ugly as all hell. And you can be Andurian Cavalry. It'll be the 5th. Because it looks really good. Uh, and then, of course, our Capellan Confederation Boyo over here. Select him. Select Lau. And where was he? God, he was some sort of reserve, wasn't he? Reserve Cavalry? It's a bit much for what he can, what he should be allowed to do. Ah, screw it. Your seventh, seventh reserve cavalry. You know, I can't do, I can't do that. The reason being that seventh reserve cavalry looks way too much like the Capellans. There you go. You can be blue. All right, that bolt's gonna be tough to take out. Yep. And speaking of the final thing to remember: victory conditions, destroy enemy BPV. Twenty-five percent. Okay. <sighs> Oh shoot, no, I forgot the map. <laughs> I'll get it done. We'll get it all done. South. Change start. South. Change start. To the north. Change start to the north. And then the map selection. Map size. 
30 by something or other. Not 50. I guarantee. 30 by 15 and Valley North End. Put that in there. Now we're done. There. Okay, so hi folks. Welcome to the stream. It's, um, we're starting a little bit late. There was about 10 minutes of faffing about and trying to make things work, but we are all ready to go now. So the plan for today, Diamondback has a mission, Cobra has a mission, Cobra's mission we're also going to have to build from the ground up because, the, yeah, the things that you guys are facing in Cobra's mission is not what you should be facing at all. Um, and if we manage to have any more time after that, we will do even more. My if I was working on a champion, so track and playing out of mech to team up with, uh, yes. Uh, I am very much looking forward to that. I was very happy to see that. We need if someone... Uh, if sometime we started lances side by side? In what way? Like where we had multiple lances dropping on the field? I mean, yes. Yes, to Big Brick and Ginger, who I did see yourselves. Can I give me a heartbeat? Can I put out the heartbeat? Oh shoot, I need to remember the colon. I'm just all out of sorts today. I blame. Well, as you know, we already know the technical difficulties that we blame. So a little bit of love and chat for our people who powered through a hype train when they had no reason to during the tef technical difficulties. You guys got to the highest level of hype train that we have ever been at, which is just... I mean, dudes, thank you so much for being badass right there. I really do appreciate it. Every single one of you uh, for, <laughs> for coming out. So, what was it? It was Reldex, it was Ginger, and it was, um, and it was Big Rick who all subbed during that time. So that, that was pretty awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And the bits. And I didn't see who the bits were from because I was half under my desk at the time. So, now that we've got that out of the way, uh, as in bow and adder dropping right down amongst the enemy. Yeah, that happens. That, that, uh, we've done that before. We did that like two weeks ago. <laughs> Alright, let's get this show on the road, because I have people to kill, things to do, and if I'm not blasting them, then we're having problems. So let's get this thing all loaded up. Oh, it's, why is it going so slow? Well, I know why it's going so slow, because I haven't, like, cleaned out all these processes that I should be, but that's okay. It'll be fine. We'll be great. Alright, so our little wasp friend has dropped down already, pretty on close to us. I don't need that porter anymore. Go away, background. You're ugliest and... Thank you, and I will move you to... Oh, that's not the one I wanted to grab. So this goes here. I then go... Sure, we'll put me there. It's not like you guys actually need to see this information on here. Uh, so that'll be right above my head. That's two... Nope. It's right there. Okay. And then the map will phase in and out of existence whenever. For those who hadn't seen, that is the map in small. And this is the map writ large. Nice little village. They're going to hopefully hole up on it. And we'll have to dislodge them a little bit. So I will take the Hatchetman HTC. So that's our Lance Leader over here right now. Fergus Ivanovov, also known as Lieutenant Shade. He's going to kick butt and take him. Uh, my mech warrior must have blocked that memory. <laughs> Need to make more snacks since almost all of us are dropping. Uh, yeah, some are dropping. Glad the stream is underway. Yeah, I was, um, I was getting concerned. Oh, uh, we've got the DML who is also ready to drop. Enemy appears to be placing their troops way off here in the corner. So that is an interesting play. Not sure that I approve of it because I'll have to dislodge you and I don't want to have to do that. But, oh God, it's all of them. Every single one of them. Uh, the DML is not a very good anti-infantry unit. It's not. I mean, it's got four medium lasers. It's it's a pretty terrible Phoenix Hawk. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's not a terrible Phoenix Hawk. <laughs> But I, I need more firepower. I must create more firepower. Oh goodness, I pulled Raza out of the lance. And didn't replace him with our Firebee pilot and something else. So yeah, this will be an interesting one. They'd come at me bro five. <laughs> yeah, they kinda did. They're they're in good positions. That's that's not gonna be not gonna be safe. So we'll get the Raven over there. Uh set him up for his ghost targets. And then this Raven over here. Also going to hide. So we got the DML over here. We've got the rest of the lance over here. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be grand. All roadblocks are black ice. The Capellans get to move first, it looks like. So they lost the initiative. And yeah, they're gonna have four initiative sinks. This is gonna suck. On the bright side, the Hetzers can't hit me for an insane amount of damage, but it's still gonna hurt. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. 
So what we're going to have to do is try and cut down fire angles that they can come at me from. Ooh, I actually might be a better idea to move the DMO for... Or not. Who did I place out in the middle of it on his own? The Griffin, right. And the reason I put him over here... Sorry, I need this moved out of my face right now. The reason why I put him over here is because this infantry group right here is going to be somewhat vulnerable to his missiles. Like, it's not a lot vulnerable to missiles, but hey, they're people. They're dudes. What can they po possibly stand for? Huh. Well, that ain't going to work with what my plan was. I should have been paying more attention. Right, so we have a large laser, medium laser griffin. Which is still one, two, three, four, five, six shots, which is not terrible. But it's not explosive missiles, which was the plan. Interesting problem. Um, yeah, that'll put you at medium range, and I don't think that Hetzer's gonna hit me. I mean, he might. Could rush forward to avoid it. Buildings are not tall enough to hide me. Life is very much pain. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Spirit says we need you to make some company introductions so we know a little bit more who and why and what equipment we have. Oh, whew. okay. Uh, I can do that after the battle when I can show you the entire TOE because right now we're currently looking at a single lance out of a demi company? A double company? I'm not quite sure what the actual word would be, but yeah, we'll we'll come up with it. We'll do a we'll do an entire company sort of expose, I suppose, when uh, when we finish this battle. But for now, we're currently dealing with Diamondback, who is our light scouting lance, led by the lovely and talented Lieutenant Shade, also known from the Rogue Tech fame. Uh, he has joined us in his Phoenix Hawk HTC, which is a Phoenix Hawk which has a hatchet on it, as well as a few medium lasers and a small. Give us the rundown of what we're currently dropping. That's what I'm doing. We also have our Phoenix Hawk DML, which is being commanded, I believe, by eyes. And it is basically a Jenner. Okay, it's a slightly better Jenner with, what, five medium lasers? Yeah, five medium lasers is not a jump jets. It's not terrible. So, being uh, commanded by eyes over here. We have a pair of Ravens, our Raven 2X, which is being commanded by the Black Sheep himself. And this particular Raven is equipped with a pair of medium lasers, a large laser, and an SRM-6. This is not a electronic warfare Raven. This is a shooty McKillerson Raven. Step one, give it to And then finally, we have our Raven 1J over here, which is a slightly modified Raven 1X with four medium lasers and a little bit of jamming pod equipment. And speaking of said jamming pod equipment, I need to come over and set my electronic warfare to ghost targets to hopefully give us a little bit more of a survival chance. So the goal of this mission is, oh yeah, we also have a, we have dragon, I believe, in the griffin. Yes, dragon's griffin. Right over here. Being commanded by Druse Yose, which is also known as Dragon. And he is piloting a slightly modified Griffin. By slightly, I mean completely modified Griffin. Which is packing nothing but energy weapons and a lot of jump jets. He's, I th believe he's slot filling for today. Someone's, someone's slot filling today. Not positive who. Because one of our pilots from, from Diamondback was recently captured. We're doing a probing mission, sort of getting things on the, on the roll to try and find our pilot who was captured by a pair of Capellan deserters who stole him after managing to defeat him in a two-on-one duel. Although, with that said, he did manage to fight off one of them, so that was pretty fun. But yeah. So that's the plan for today. Well, at least for this first drop, we're currently probing an enemy fixed defense position, which I had kind of been hoping that he would have placed his infantry in these buildings to look extra cool, but he did not. He decided to hide them in the corner, which is not a terrible idea. And their anti-aircraft section, which is a pair of partisan heavy tanks, which is a little bit more beefy than your average anti-aircraft section, and a pair of hatsers just for a little bit of anti-mech work. That way they're not just going to completely get overwhelmed. They've got reinforcements on the way consisting of a Thunderbolt, a Vulcan, and a pair of Wasps as well as a pair of cheetah fighters which are normally there for scouting operations because you guys rolled well although you may not roll quite so well in the next time we do this that'll be interesting to see how you cope with say a pair of eagles dropping in on you but you never know so the first things first we need to get close so that we can start boring into the side of people uh, i would love to be able to arc dodge around these hetzers but there's absolutely no chance that he's going to let me do that since he will probably he'll sink all of his infantry 
So he'll probably just sit him here. They're not going to do anything. And then he will move his partisans, because his partisans have turrets on them. And then his hetzers will move, and by that point I'll be out of people to cycle back and forth with him. Uh, the average A is a rhino. Now that, how is that not OTT for... As long as they don't bring too many bombs. They have brought rocket pods. I'm not being quite cruel yet, but that may change. All right, I need to get you rolling into cover. Can I get you more than three? No, darn it. Hiding you from the partisans is actually going to be pretty important. So we will zip the raven off over in this direction. Hopefully hiding behind things. And the phoenix hawk, I would like to jump as far and as quickly as I possibly can. That way we can get as much defense as I possibly can stack into him. So that'll be three, four. Wait, I have a jump of six? Really? That means I can get an evasion of three. But a run would do the exact same thing. And make me more accurate. Sadly, I can't get that same kind of run. So an evasion of three might actually be good enough on this one. Is Vanguard. Uh, then partisans are going to be available. Yeah, they are. Each one is packing four AC5s. So they're nasty. Spent 30 minutes fixing the stream. We spent... Mm, what time is it? Okay, we may have... Wait. We spent 20 minutes fixing the stream. <laughs> so I haven't missed much. Oh boy. How am I going to make this work? I want to jump the Phoenix Hawk in so badly. I think that's actually a fairly decent idea. I also would love to get this raven into the side. Probably should have angled both ravens to move together, take advantage of their, or their capability to do nasty, nasty things to the enemy. Alright, you can distract. And I will get shade moving in as well, pretty directly. The goal is to close the range. If we get within three tiles of these partisans, they become horrifically inaccurate. Uh, that's not going to be the same for his Hetzers, which he decided to move first, so that's going to be fun. Let's bounce in there. Autocannons every other country. <laughs> well, I like autocannons, so they make sense as a weapon system to have to fight with. Alright, how are we dealing with? 11s, 12s, I knew this was going to happen. I was being a little bit too aggressive, but hey, we're going to get things rolling. So we'll fire a couple of medium lasers, and that's it. Because I want to keep my t my temperature under control. You are done. You can see two elevens. Um, really, what you want to do is you want to crit city if you can. And then the raven is damage high low. Arch lasers, elevens. Oh, he's got a ten on that one. Interesting. Wonder why. Fire that, and then we're done. Oh, almost forgot the griffin. Who's getting shot up by the SRM team who has additional range. What oh, guns alive. Uh, let's see. I do kind of want to kill this SRM team. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rapid fire just a whole load of medium lasers into them. Because I don't need to hit them with a large laser. Since the large laser and the medium lasers will do the exact same amount of damage to infantry. Oh, goodness. I totally missed that. You can see the Hetzer. Fired him. Fired him happily and gladly. Alright, so. Ghost Targets is active on an 11, which is beautiful. So that means that everybody trying to shoot my people is going to have a harder time actually hitting us. Uh, the Partisan did manage to hit the Raven that I was hoping would not. Uh, however, the Griffin did manage to roll a critical hit on the front of the Hetzer and make its AC-10 malfunction. So that's a significant weakness on that right side. However, he did take an AC-10 shell in return. So less than ideal. Uh, is that, that, that's my main map. You guys can't see that. It's hidden on our second stream. What are the PBIs? Um, the what? What, what are we in? Oh, because he's standing next to a building. Which I have, I feel no need to just flatten the entirety of the terrain. Welcome back, Brick. We're about to get started. Actually, the first round has happened. Uh, we have traded 10 points of armor for an AC-10 offline. So, there's that. Is there a reason why? Why? There it goes. 
It is not like it. <laughs> Poor Bloody. Uh, Bloody isn't in this thing. Alright, if I'm lucky, you'll move in close. So I will move the Griffin first. He no longer holds down a flank, which is rather useful to us. Um, this Wasp is dead because he decided to move within melee range of, you know, infantry. This, this was a terrible idea. Um, actually, show me how big your missile range is. I don't think it's that huge, actually. It's actually a lot larger than I thought it was. Okay. This guy's got no gun right now. So he, he may be able to clear that jam, but for right now, he's got no way of defending against me. Which, rather useful that. So I can start preparing to cut around the back here. He's just gonna sink all of his infantry. Where's my Raven 1J? There you are. Could go in there. Reserve a little bit of iron. Just a little bit. We don't want to take too much. Buddy infantry? Oh, because on my screen, that's on an entirely separate line. So... It just says poor bloody and then on the next line it says infantry, so I didn't notice. Don't worry about it. I need to get this hatchet man, or not hatchet man, I need to get that uh, thingamabob. The hatchet equipped Phoenix Hawk on top of the enemy and soon, if at all possible. I would also love to avoid taking too much damage. Uh, if we take another couple of AC5 rounds like that, we are not going to be here much longer. It's got to be one more turn. One more turn of direct up, then he can cut over. Well, you finished sinking, which means I can move the DML in. Can I have to move the DML? I'll do my level best to give him a fighting chance. I kind of like that idea right there. Can he get behind me? No, because he's a wheeled vehicle and he can't... Wheeled vehicles can move through light forest. One, two, three, four, five. You are a how fast moving... S yeah, you can't get behind me if I do that. Bounce it! All right, who are you going to force move? Where did you move this Hetzer? So we mi we're missing a Hetzer now. Oh, did he just pull off the field? Yeah, Hetzer's crippled and withdrawing. Okay. Uh, why is it 720p quality today? Because Twitch was not giving us options when we were trying to stream at 1080p. So I like to make sure that people can step down the quality if they need to based on their internet. So if I can stream at 1080p and people still have the options to step down, then go nuts. But Twitch was tell when I was uploading at 1080p, Twitch was saying you either watch at 1080p or you don't watch at all. So that's a nice little pickup. So we've already managed to remove a fairly significant player and the Partisan is definitely within bounce range. Hi. Okay, so this is a great position for us to be in. I've managed to get Shade exactly where I need him to be. And this Hetzer has decided that he doesn't want to shoot at anybody but this Raven this round. So that's great. I'm going to use this weapon. Uh, that's an 8. That's a 9. Yeah, we're shooting the 8. So I'm not really planning on going for any sort of like actual accurate fire here. We're going to go nuts with it. The cowards don't fear from our mix. Hey, if you had no gun and a griffin was bearing down upon you, would you really want to hang out there? Oh goodness. Um, yeah, just just fire everything you got. You're gonna need it. And you don't have a shot, but that's actually not the worst thing in the world. Who are you? Oh, you're my you're my lovely little raven over here. Peace. SRM range? Oh, we're in SRM range. I mean it's not good SRM range, but it's SRM range. So that'll be a 9, that'll be a 7. Yeah, I'll focus on the 7 into the SRM 6, and we'll roll with that. This is going to be very painful, by the way, in case you didn't know. We're going to get shot at a lot. Twist. 
Hi. I want to shoot your... Show me both. You're a six and you're an eight. Yeah, that makes sense. And none of those are in range. I only have the large laser to shoot. Okay. Shoot the SRM team, because why not? And you're done. Okay, let's see how this ruins up. Shame for this thing. Of course, let's take around on a minute. If you see someone not supposed to be making smart choices. Uh, there's no such thing as a poor bloody infantry, but lucky infantry who gets to see the awesome destructive firepower of something makes the thing will never own for me. I suppose that's a way of looking at it. Alright, so the Wasp has opened fire on the foot platoon, and as you can see, he uses a medium laser weapon. The medium laser is anti-mech level. So, he needs a 3, he gets it because he rolls an 8, and hits men. Uh, direct fire weapon against infantry changes the damage from the 5 that the medium laser normally does to 1. Which is why it's annoying to try and kill infantry, especially infantry platoons. Uh, infantry, however, was cut out in the open. They're not in any sort of cover. So that one becomes two. <laughs> Very useful, that. And so he takes two damage, 26 people left. So the infantry platoons have 28 dudes in them, that means they have 28 health. The way infantry also work is their guns deal like 0.512 and 0.36 whatever of damage. But then you multiply that by the number of infantry in the squad. So the bigger the infantry unit, the more damage they do, and it can be terrifying. Uh, especially when they're targeting vehicles, because they then chunk the damage that they deal into, like, five damage increments, and it becomes ridiculous. Alright, so the SRM-2 at a foot infantry rolls, needs a three, and rolled the three, two missiles hit. Uh, again, missile weapon against infantry, change damage from a four to a one, but it's then caught on the open. So if you're going to be shooting infantry, the weapons you want to be using are machine guns and flamers, because they will just annihilate whole platoons almost instantaneously. It's amazing. 147 salt! You can't really see it all that well because of the thing, but Urando has uh, sent 147 bits saying, uh, Well, since our internet provider cut our speed, I'm unable to watch the stream. So until the speed gets back up there, I'll just throw bits at you. Hopefully things go well on stream for you and everyone. Uh, thank you, Urando. I do appreciate it. Get some love for Urando, who is supporting us even though he can't actually witness what it is that we're doing. I do very much appreciate it. All right, and also I'll make sure that I put on the background so that we can see our little harpies. But yeah, if you have the RV emote, give it a little bit of spam for Grando. All right, so the weapons fire for the foot platoon, and this is where the foot platoon becomes crazy. They need a four, they get it because they rolled a five. 17 troopers hit, which causes nine damage. So if we divide 17, if we, uh, yeah, if we divide nine damage by 17, we'll figure out how powerful the guns they're using. I think auto rifles are like a point four or something like that. So yeah. Uh, so, and it deals it out in two damage increments, so the wasp gets hit, and the wasp gets hit, gets hit, and the wasp gets hit, and the wasp gets hit, and the wasp gets hit a lot of times. If you do that to a vehicle, you're in crit city. Like, infantry versus vehicles are insanely good. I love it. We're getting at, le at best four to five uh, megabits per second. Oof, that's rough. That's rough, buddy. Alright, so the infantry pl foot platoon is fired. Our Phoenix Hawk has opened fire and managed to hit the back of that partisan no less than twice and didn't get a crit, which is very unfortunate. Uh, that foot platoon decided to open up again. Again, 17 troopers hit with 9 damage, which, yeah, the leg, the left leg on the wasp is about to fall off. So he's in trouble. Our raven then fired everything and missed everything. And then the foot platoon fired their SRM-6, their SRM launcher. Uh, he needed a 6, he rolled a 9. He then multiplies the damage of that SRM by the 16 troopers hit, and just, no, boom. So the left leg is now gone. The left torso now has 4 health left. Penetration power man? Yeah, it's the power of drills. So weapon fire for the foot platoon, machine gun. Uh, they needed a 6, they rolled a 5, so they've missed, so he got lucky on that one. The, ooh, our Raven 2X fired a single large laser and managed to hit the Hetzer and stun the crew for the next round. So that'll be very useful next round. Uh, the quad barrels on the Partisan opening fire on that 2X, all of them managing to miss, which is good. The large laser on the foot platoon from the Griffin, not able to connect all that well. And then the other Partisan managing to miss, hit, miss, hit. Spreading out a lot of damage on the Gra Raven 1J, which is the Raven who hasn't been engaged yet, but it's also our ECM Raven, so not exactly a very good combat thing. And the Wasp took 20 damage and so had to roll a check to see if it stood, say, stayed standing. 
Now this is the fun part. You don't want to cheer the, the infantry, Kyogre. The infantry are the enemy. So the Phoenix Hawk, which is being driven by Shade, is in melee range. Now I could use the Hatchet. I'm not going to because it's six or it's seven versus six. A Hatchet versus a vehicle is the exact same thing as a Kick versus a vehicle. So we're just going to stomp on them. And then the Raven's not in range to do anything. So the Wasp managed to kick out with his leg, needs a 3, hit with a 5, infantry caught in the open, damage is doubled, and they took 2 damage. Because again, he, he doesn't have a good weapon for it. Shade missed, he rolled a 5 instead of the 6, and then he tripped over his own two bloody feet. And fell over. Good job. The stunning, stunning confidence of Mech Warriors. Alrighty, so we're back on the move. We don't have to worry about this Hatzer. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll run off. That'll that'll be very helpful. Probably gotta get booted by the wasp. This wasp is dead. Like if he doesn't run, this wasp is so dead. The level of dead that he is is yes. Uh, I'm actually going to have to run quite a bit to try and get in range of yours, right? Jump. Ooh, am I just not going to be able to kill anybody? Interesting. Well, in that case, I'll move up here. Get myself a little bit further, so I can actually do something. Uh, you don't fall over when using a hatchet? Yeah, but... I mean, I figured that a six was pretty good odds. Generally, you don't fall over when you kick either, but he managed to fail the roll of a four. So he managed to fail to roll a six and then failed to roll a four. Maybe the hatchet is better than the boot boss. <laughs> hatchet doesn't pose a piloting check. Uh, hey, if you had managed to actually make that kick, it wouldn't have been causing a piloting check. Jump of the building? No way. Absolutely not. First of all, the building would collapse, uh, as with that one. And that one, and that one, and that one. By the way, so if you look carefully, you'll notice where it says light standard building number, huge number, and that is height two. That's how tall the building is. And then next to that is CF, which is construction foot something. But it's it's the amount of toughness that the building has. And it's 15. So if you try and put anything more than 15 tons on that, it'll collapse the whole building and you'll fall through. So, kind of bad. Also, don't get caught up by the reinforcements coming in. Yeah... We've got to hit them hard and fast, though. I mean, if I don't kill these partisans by the time they show up, we're probably dead. But hey, we'll find out. And our 1J finally able to make his turn on in. Although he's getting quite badly damaged. Actually, no, he managed to miss all damage last turn, so that actually works out pretty good for him. So rush in with the 7. Sounds like a quitter talked to me. Those building into normal houses? Exactly, and you drop a 55-ton griffin on top of your normal house and see how long it stays intact. <laughs> oh, the DML. Okay, so I'd love to make this run. This run seems perfectly innocent and reasonable. However, he will attempt to move through this building. This building has a CF of 15. If he does that, the building will fall over. So if I want to do that, I need to do something like that. Or I jump. How much heat am I currently stacking? Uh, none, because I was clever. Oh yeah, because we didn't have a target last turn. So we're going to bounce in right here. Say hi. He's pro Ooh, that was not what I expected you to do. Interesting. I wonder why. In any event, we're going to get shaded. Shade's going to get shot at a lot. There's really no getting around that. And then the Raven 1J can come sneaky breaky right up in here and say hello. Actually, he's going to sneaky bring it right up in here and get shot at by that one. So I don't want to do that, actually. If I'm going to be running, I may as well run all the way. That takes me over a house that I don't want to walk onto. I just finished explaining it. Instead, we'll make two, three piloting checks, which I think we can manage. Which we did. Stomps can beat lame buildings. I mean, dynamic entry shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, you'll, um, you'll go through the building all right. Actually, no, if you change their movement mode, you I believe they will charge right through the building, and I don't think that forces them to fall over, but Zimbri would have to check me on that one. And we're on phase three. We've got incoming arrow fighters in the next turn. All right, let's pick a partisan and see if we can't blow it to smithereens. Ah, uh, that one looks like a reasonable target. The small laser, medium laser, medium laser, 
Share medium laser. We're going to go nuts on it. High. Maximum medium laser. Because I've got to kill you quickly. And same deal with you. You, on the other hand, have a Hetzer that you're going to attempt to wipe out. And I think you can do it. It should hopefully work. And then there's nothing for the Griffin to shoot at unless he wants to twist. And oh, just barely out of range of that infantry. Mario time. By the way, where's our wasp? Oh good, the wasp ran away. Alright, so. The Phoenix Hawk opened fire with a small laser. Hanton managed to damage the motiva motivators quite well, actually. Uh, the Raven 1J then came in and unloaded on his partisan, managed to blow up the engine, which has managed to shut that sucker right on down. However, he wasn't done there. He managed to actually cut right on through. So, points to the Raven 1J, which I believe is being driven by Ginger. I think. I'll have to double check that, but yeah. Managed to blow up one of the partisans entirely, which is very, very useful to, for us to have right now. So, that's four AC5s no longer in the fight. So the scanner is showing something fake. Uh, there are only a couple of fighters. Weapons fire for the Phoenix Honk uh, DML. Oh, managed to open fire. He stunned the partisan tank. Uh, and I think the DML was targeting a different one, which would be quite useful to us. And engine destroyed immobile. So that's working pretty good with us. The Raven... Our Raven 2X then opened fire on the Hetzer. And despite all of his hints, got exactly zero crits. Which is very unfortunate. Because that Hetzer is going to be online next turn. Uh, the Partisan then opened fire, managed to nail the Phoenix Hawk with one of his shells. Fired his machine gun into the Phoenix Hawk as well, managed to get a little bit of light hits, but he's only using his machine guns in normal mode rather than the burst fire mode that would be far, far more deadly. The sin punishes itself. As medium lasers do work in the middle. Medium lasers just do work in general. They are incredibly useful pieces of equipment. So the Partisan opened fire on the Phoenix Hawk as well. So quite a bit of fire come down towards the Phoenix Hawk. He even took more than 20 damage. But this time he actually did manage to succeed in rolling his piloting check, which was quite nice. And the Wasp is now sitting out at medium laser range and just blinking away at infantry, dealing two damage at a time. Uh, so yeah, that worked out pretty decently for us. So what's actually left on the field? Oh, oh my lucky stars. Look at all. Oh, Jet needs to come back. Background needs to go away. Oh, where did Chet go? Did I just bring Hey, I'm not saying that medium lasers are bad. Oh, every time I remove them. That's why. I'm not saying medium lasers are bad. I'm saying I don't like them. <laughs> I'm saying they're boring. So let's go give a proper kick. This time it's a 100% chance to hit. Uh, the Raven has no point in attempting to kick. And the Phoenix, however, can also go for a Daboot. And there goes the other Partisan. So we've managed to knock out all of the Partisan tanks. And that has achieved us the 33% enemy forces destroyed by knocking out their heavy weapons element. We have managed to push them off from being able to do anything and they've had to, or we've been able to disengage and successfully probe the enemy. Twitch is going to need their border back. Alright, uh, we don't need to save that. But yeah, successful all around. Run away. Hey, it was only a probe. We weren't here to actually kill everybody. So we do not control. So, oh, no. Winner does control the battlefield after the battle. Oh, nice. So we do control that. We had 100% on the hatchet and it still took the kick. Um, it's the same. Because well, you, you're, you're going to hurt your back trying to use a little hatchet to try and swing at something at your legs. Far, far better idea to instead be going up to there to try and hit them with uh, something a little bit more. Substantial. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was worrying for a moment. So they say undamaged, but everybody took a little bit of light damage. And there was no... Somewhere, actually, there should be a wasp who is not dead. We'll take that. Nobody took any injuries, which is lovely. Uh, most of this didn't actually ever show up, and the infantry actually does escape. And the partisan, I'm not even going to bother trying to salvage. Because it's partisan, who cares? Uh, the foot platoon of Andorians, nobody actually took it. So we managed to win this by only destroying two partisan heavy tanks. Which I'm going to count as a pretty great little raid and run that we managed to pull off right there. That's just not that small in the hands of a 20 meter high uh, It's only a Phoenix Hawk, it's not that big. Alright, what time is it? Let me, let me check. Okay, so we are going to put a cut in here for the YouTube people. Uh, with all the issues earlier, did you start the YouTube recording and all that? Yes, I did. Uh, and we are 44 minutes into the recording, so really, we only started 15 minutes late. It's not bad. 
So it'll be a slightly shorter uh, episode for the YouTube people, as we'll put in a nice little break in here. So everybody, make sure you get, say goodbye to the YouTube folks. Don't worry, we're still going to be continuing to stream for the next several hours as we battle through a couple of other things and work through the actual company. And when YouTube starts back up, we will begin our little tour of the TO&E. Um, yes. That works, okay. So, uh, yeah. Took out some aliens, which is a very good tank uh, uh, removal when you consider that you're moving against Tolera until I this. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching, YouTube folks. I have been Tiraki. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button and subscribe before I see a notification every single time I release one of these videos. Press the little bell icon. Leave a comment and I will see you all in the next episode.